actually at this point, it might be an effective strategy to say whatever you want to say and then label yourself as a comedian. You said something that I thought was interesting uh, on a Bradley's podcast, um, and I and it's something I've actually tried before, and that is you brought up the fact that you're a comedian and but not. Oh, don't do that to me. No, no, Everything no, I said, I meant. No, 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 I don't. No, I, I agree. No, I agree. I agree that you <laughs> meant it. Finish. I agree with you. You meant it. What I'm saying is, we uh, there's there's a protection that comedians get on social media because remember you said. Uh, about being on YouTube, you said, oh, yeah, I can grow as much as I want. I'm a comedian. Do you remember just saying this on Bradley's yeah, podcast? Yeah, but I'm telling you right now. No, no, I agree you with you. You cannot label me as a comedian. I'm, I'm not coming. not. Let him finish. I'm, so I'm, you I'm, know I'm, labeling, I'm, I'm, labeling, I'm not labeling you as a comedian, but I do think it's actually at this point, it might be an effective strategy to say whatever you want to say and then label yourself as a comedian. And I did this for a while. I actually changed it instead of being a coach to comedian. Oh, yeah, I remember to that. Keep, you remember yeah. that? It's a political to, strategy. To, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. So do you feel that is a viable strategy to do that? For like a lot algorithm? of my politics, yes, but I'm not doing politics right now. I'm doing dating. Yeah. So I don't need to I'm do just saying. It, I'm just saying in general, like I thought it was an interesting strategy. No, no, that strategy, strategy mm. is to not get banned. That's, it's not to spare. It's, exa <laughs> it's exactly what I'm saying. And the thing is, what I'm telling you, because you might, you talked to before about dating coming back mm -hmm. but you do remember what happened when you t had a conversation with rsd tyler with uh, uh, owen cook Absolutely. about what happened with Ad alex jones getting banned and you told them that they had to change their whole platform Absolutely. too and if it were satirical the algorithm would not have taken it as seriously yep. and not come and taking all their stuff off the ground do you do you agree with yeah, that? Do you see what i'm saying I, yeah absolutely correct i mean I, I was the guy that they contacted um with uh, julian when when julian had the issues and was getting deplatformed um i was behind the scenes i wasn't um in the alex jones camp but one of my buddies was working with him so i knew that was coming in advance and so is that sandy hook no and so I Alex Jones got banned for Sandy Hook. Yeah, he did. I mean, that was that, that was a, that was the straw that what? broke the camel's back. That was the straw that broke. Exactly. Yeah. Alex Jones was. He, there was lots of controversy. I mean, he was getting people were going and screaming at him in diners when he was going to sit down and eat. Like he, he was going to get deplatformed for a while. They knew it was coming. And what I said to uh, to Tyler Owen was that if Alex Jones goes down, he's the canary in the coal mine. And I was like, everybody's going to come after us. After Alex Jones went, something like. Three or four hundred dating YouTube channels went down. My dating YouTube channel went down, um, and I had one of the original ones from 2006. And it was just like an absolute notification from YouTube. Yeah. your channel's gone. The end. And I feel like like Vitali was an example Vitaly, of some absolutely. who was he was doing something stuff that was just satirical, yep. but it was still. Is that in the, the guy dating. who beat up a woman? I don't did Vitali. He I don't beat know. the shit out of a woman, didn't he? I don't know. I, I don't he was know. like on shrooms and psychosis. The the I, Russian. Yeah, the Russian guy. Vitaly. He beat up a woman. That did guy's he? a I psychopath. I didn't, I didn't know anything about that. That guy's a de degenerate psychopath. He was on shrooms and he attacked Which, someone's mom jogging. Is that what happened? I, I, I didn't know about this. Brutally, I, I mean, yeah. I, I I don't know. Like, I don't know the data. All I know is that Vitaly was always pushing the envelope. I mean, yeah. he was like the, the leader on YouTube for the but, prank. But, but, well, I mean, I talked to the YouTube IRFs. Yeah. My angel investors got me in touch with them. Yeah. And so I know what's safe and what's not. But you're trying to say this. Hey, we lost the audio for him again. Can you make sure you plug this in? Mm -hmm. This is plugged in real quick. One more time. You, you said you talked to the YouTube higher ups. I'm just saying that's why I don't feel the way you guys feel on this topic. Like, you guys think it's a bigger deal, right? No, no. What I what I'm saying is, like you mentioned before, like it does seem to be kind of a halo. If they think you're being satirical, you can get away with a lot more than if you start say, like if you're political and you say right wing stuff, you get banned. If you're satirical and you say right wing stuff, they're saying, oh, well, I'm a comedian, and mm. it seems to be this halo that protects Dave, you. Dave Dave Chappelle mm. halo, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, right. and, and and because when we first came in here, you mentioned something to the effect of like, hey, I want to get, I want to make money, right? And there's there's a limit to what I you said can that? say. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I said we're getting views today. Right, right, that's fine. But I'm yeah. saying is like at some point there is money. There is a limit to how far you can grow if you say things that the algorithm doesn't like. You don't want to pigeonhole yourself. Yeah, but again, you guys got to remember. Either way, I win. If I'm on Rumble, you know. I, well, they'll go into that. So Rumble. But I don't want to be on Rumble. But if I ever go, we're talking about me getting banned. Yes. If I got banned, I still win. I have a whole plan for that. Yeah. Like Sneeko, except he didn't have a plan. But I, I I see what you're saying. But like Rumble is not going to ban you. Rumble has very different uh, yeah, terms Rumble, of service. No, the Anything difference else. is if I go to Rumble, I make ten million dollars. If I stay on YouTube, I can make fifty million less than a decade. If there's no oopsie daisies. But I've been in the most left leaning website, Twitch, and I know how to navigate that for years. Yes, and I got rich there. And a left leaning website to think I'm that funny. Yeah. And every single girl, I was like maybe five hundred girls plus I met, collaborated, all said I'm a great guy. That's the same thing I do on YouTube. Now she kind of looks, you know, not to attack her, she would look crazy because there's 500 girls who are going to be like, you, you, you can't digest Zerka? There's left-leaning liberal women, sensitive women all around me. All the clips, everything is on YouTube. 
So anytime a girl does that overreaction, she's actually just inviting. That's why I was leaning back. I didn't want people to attack her and say, oh, she's stupid. So I was like, oh, let it die. But she kept pressing the issue. But if you guys are worried, about, I'll get in trouble for this. No, no, no. no We're not. No, 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 no. not worried about that. No, no, no. I'm just talking about an overall or this strategy. style. This yeah. style. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Your no, approach. No, no. But the thing is, it's an overall strategy because I don't know if you're aware, but like just regular PUAs who had nothing to say politically were getting banned on YouTube. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? I mean, you're you're also saying like anything can happen, and we can't live like that. 